It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to our discussion of Parshat Tzav, Keeping It Fresh. If we look at the difference between Parshat Vayikra and Parshat Tzav, we notice something very interesting. And that is that Parshat Vayikra, although it speaks about the matters of Levitical matters, matters of the Beit HaMikdash, and a lot of the things that the Kohanim do, it's addressed to Jewish people. The Pharaoh B'nai Yisrael, Vayikra, the first Parsha of Vayikra is dedicated to the Jewish people, and they have to see to it that they bring. Adam Ki Akriv Mikim, when one of you, one of y'all wants to bring a sacrifice, this is what you should do. Now, of course, the Kohanim are involved, but as Rabbi Yonatan Grossman pointed out, to whatever extent a Jew can be involved, we're involved. If we can vishachat, anyone can do the shechita. The, the Jew it's himself brings the, the krivu. You you bring you bring it closer. Anything to do with the blood and the actual sacrifice that's done by the kohanim. However, when we come to parshat tzav, it's all related to the kohanim. Tzav daron vet by nothing more. It's directed to the kohanim. In both cases, you have the Ola at the beginning, but where the completely consumed burnt Holocaust offering, completely burnt offering. Whereas in Vayikra, the offering is brought by Jewish people, any person who wants to bring it. It's in Dava, it's a, a gift one brings out of their own largesse. However, here in Parshat Sav, it's a commandment to make sure that every day the fires are lit and that the constant there's a constant fire on the altar. So both sections begin with Ola, they're parallel one to another, but one is for the Kohanim, and one is for the Israelites. The question is, how do we keep it fresh? How do we keep our worship of God fresh? As we say, as Midrash says, Rashi says on the Shema, that we should always uh, consider the, the mitzvot to have been given today. When we have an offering, we do something, we want to keep it fresh. How do we keep it fresh? So let's examine how it's kept fresh in the Israelite section, by Yikra, last week's Parsha, and how it's kept fresh in the Kohen section. In the Israelite section, the very first thing is, it's all about Ndava. As Ramban points out, the uh, the, the Parshat Vayikra is organized in terms of of things that are that are uh, uh, voluntary. Uh, for, you have the Ola, someone decides to bring an Ola for no particular reason. Mincha, he wants to bring a uh, flower offering. And he brings Shlamim. Then we talk about Chatat and Hashem, that sometimes people have to bring us an offering because they did various sins. In the uh, in the Kohanim section, Parsha Tzav, there's not so much a discussion of, of voluntary type things, but it's uh, what keeps it fresh in, a, in this Parsha about the Kohanim. What keeps it fresh for Kohen? Number one, when they are fresh. When a new Kohen comes, he has a special sacrifice to celebrate that freshness. But the Kohen Gadol, he brings the freshness sacrifice every day. The same sacrifice that a Kohen brings, okay, today's my first day to work. I'm, I just turned 20. I'm going to work now. I bring a, a meal offering. But the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, he brings that sacrifice every day because it keeps it fresh. Every day he has to view it as, today I woke up. Guess what? I'm going to work in the base Amikdash today. I'm going to work in the temple the Kohen Gadol is a new and fresh day every day. And therefore, part of the system of Parshat uh, Tzav is that there's not only Ola, Tzad, and Shlamim, but all, all different types of offerings, but there's also Miluim. As Ramban argues, Miluim, the inaugural sacrifices, are not just a Hora'at Sha'ah. It's not just a one-time thing that like, when they established the Mishkan, they had a Hanukkah, they had a dedication ceremony, but you know, but that goes away. No, there is a concept of Miluim. Now, you don't do it that often, but hopefully you don't have to do it that often, but, but we did. We did it at the time of the dedication of the Mishkan, the tabernacle. Shlomo did it at the time of dedication of the Beit HaMikdash, so much so he even canceled Sukkot. It's a very important thing to to have this inaugural ceremony the uh, perhaps Yoshiao Chizkiao as they rededicated the temple did that they had Miluim in the days of Ezra Chemia, and 
uh, as it says in Yechezkel, one day we will have Miluim, we will have beginning of Nisan, we'll have a inaugural sacrifice to inaugurate the third temple one day. How do you keep it fresh for Kohanim? You have the inaugural thing, and the inaugural sacrifice is done every day by the Kohen Gadol. How do the Israelites keep it fresh? Well, by volunteering. With, uh, right? Adam Kiyakrim Kim, when a person just feels like bringing a sacrifice, he brings it. And also, aside from Vayikra being addressed to the Jews, you know what else is addressed to the Jews? The Karban Hatami, the daily offering. If you look in Parshat Enchaz, uh, uh, the daily offering is addressed to the Jews. The, the Jews have to bring, we're the ones who have to bring, the, give the money with the half shekel to the for the daily offering. And the daily offering is brought by the Jews. Now that daily offering is also in Parsha Tetzavit as part of Miloim. The daily offering was originally the inaugural offering on the altar that de- that helped dedicate the Mishkan. But that inaugural offering is brought every day because we want to keep it fresh. We want to keep the, uh, the, the, the daily offering as a reminder of the first time we ever brought an offering and that every day when we bring the offering, it should be as if it's like Miloim. It's like we're rededicating Example every single day. Two parshiot, one addressed to the Jewish people, one addressed to the Kohanim. In both cases, there's an element of keeping it fresh. For the Israelites, it's a matter of volunteering to do things when, when we, by our own volition, when we feel like it. That's the what keeps it fresh. Also, we have to contribute to the daily offering. We have to show up, send some volunteers to show up every day and make sure someone's there praying over the daily offering. And that daily offering is reminiscent of the very first offering. It keeps it fresh. It reminds us of the inaugural very first time that we that we uh, started off the Beit HaMikdash or with the Mishkan. Kohanim, Arshat Zab, we have the Miluim. The Miluim are, yes, they're a one-time deal. As Ramban points out, it's something we can, we can renew all the time. That every time that in history, when we have to renew the Beit HaMikdash, we need to do the Miluim. We're going to freshen it up. We're going to have a rededication ceremony. We're going to rededicate ourselves. We're going to get started. So, you know, we sing that song on the holidays. Uh, that that Miluim, the, the inaugural sacrifices, are part of the types of sacrifices that there are. I say, what do you mean? There are only certain types of sacrifices. Ola, completely burnt. Shlamim, you share it with the Kohen. You can eat some of it. The chatas, the sin offering, ashams, more severe sins. Those are the types of offerings. There's no miluim. Once upon a time, they, they, they inaugurated the temple. No, the, it's not just a once upon a time. The miluim, the, the dedication offerings, it's out there. It's something that's part of our system. As a matter of fact, the daily offering, both of the nation and of the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, and of a new Kohen who shows up, is an inaugural offering. Because inaugural offerings are part of the daily offering. It's there's the daily and the inaugural. And that we're supposed to, it's supposed to be daily, but it's also supposed to be inaugural. My daily syrup worship, when I get up and I daven chakras, it should be, you know, daily to show every day I, I worship God. And it should also be inaugural. I should, there should be a taste of that inaugural feeling, the volunt- voluntary feeling. Within the obligation, there should be a sense of the voluntary. Within the daily, there should be a sense of the inaugural. This is how we keep it fresh. Parsha Tzav, Parsha Payikra. Thanks for joining us here at the Parent Hirsch Congregation. Join us each week for discussion of Parsha on the holidays. And we thank the anonymous don- a donor who dedicated this in honor of Avat Torah, Avas Torah. We thank you very much. And thanks to Jason Lefkowitz, our producer. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein.